My A1C was up here. Now it's down with Rebelsis. His A1C? It's down with Rebelsis. My doctor told me Rebelsis lowered A1C better than a leading branded pill. And that people taking Rebelsis lost more weight. I got to my A1C goal and lost some weight, too. Rebelsis isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. Don't take Rebelsis if you or your family ever had medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2 or if allergic to it. Stop Rebelsis and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, or an allergic reaction. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Gallbladder problems may occur. Tell your provider about vision problems or changes. Taking Rebelsis with a... death on set. A SpaceX rocket explodes after launch. Why the Southern California company says it's still a win. And from Big Mama's house to the Walk of Fame, Martin Lawrence gets a star. Why one of his co-stars thanked him on behalf of all women in Hollywood. The NBC4 News at 3 starts with breaking news. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano, and we start at three with breaking news. Criminal charges have been dropped against actor Alec Baldwin in the deadly shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust. That news coming from Baldwin's attorneys this afternoon. The 64-year-old had been charged with involuntary manslaughter, along with the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed both pleaded not guilty. Hutchins was shot and killed when Baldwin was rehearsing for a scene when the gun went off, killing her and injuring director Joel Sosa. Filming for the film resumed today after it was put on hold following the shooting. And developing right now out of Ventura County, now two days after the sheriff said a man intentionally drove into a group of teens, killing one and injuring three others. Today, the suspect appeared in court. NBC4's Alex Rosier joins us live with more on the first appearance and what we learned today. Alex. Yeah, this uh, story continues to develop minute by minute. Our crew in the courtroom in Ventura tells us that the suspect did appear in court just minutes ago. We are here in Thousand Oaks. This is where the alleged crime spree came to an end. The memorial's right behind me. The bus stop where the crash happened is right across the street. The crash that killed Wesley Welling and injured three others. But I want to show you a photo of the suspect in this case, Austin Eyes. He's facing several potential felonies, including murder, burglary, and four counts of assault with a deadly weapon. I'm told he appeared on Zoom today and didn't show any emotion in court. The alleged multi-city crime spree started with police when police say Ives stabbed a worker at a Simi Valley Walmart. Ventura County Sheriff's deputies say he was then involved in a domestic dispute with family in Camarillo, followed by the crash in Thousand Oaks that killed one and injured three others. And I want to show you the boy who was killed. Wesley Welling's mom shared this video with me today. He was her middle child, a 15-year-old freshman at Westlake High School, just waiting for the bus after class when he was hit. Today, community members continue to stop by this memorial honoring his life. I'm just very distraught of this situation. Again, I'm very sorry and I'm very sad. Sad for the kids here and uh, it's terrible. It could be anybody and, and life is, I think, I think in some respects, think about life as fragile. This is really hitting this community very hard. Some have compared it to the borderline shooting, which happened just a few miles down the road a few years ago. Tremendous grief right now, mourning the loss of Wesley Welling. This suspect, Austin Eyes, has been ordered to be held with no bail, meaning he will be in jail until his next court appearance, May the 19th. Reporting live in Thousand Oaks, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News. Thank you, Alex, for that update such a tragedy and new at three the city of LA may have to pay more than 21 million dollars in connection to a massive sewage spill in the South Bay failures at the Hyperion treatment plant in Playa del Rey dumped about 12 million gallons of wastewater into the Santa Monica Bay in 2021 the proposed fine would be the largest penalty ever for waste discharge violations that amount will be finalized at a public hearing in the next